Denver, Colorado, and this is my brand new friend, Krista, from Denver, Colorado, formerly from Las Vegas, Nevada, not to be confused with any other Las Vegas in the United States, yeah, the Vegas. Um, the workshop was called Get Your Groove On, and what we could do in an hour <laughs> was uh, not much, but we talked about doing um, some body movements with a tap step. And what we did was we just did, uh, starting with the left foot, we did a step, tap, step, tap, and then we turned it, turned it, so that the tap really didn't have to come close to the foot, but kind of just stayed there and turned. And then we did a little dip, dip, and dip, and dip, and dip. And we're gonna go on the road, and I'm gonna dye my hair, the curves, okay? And then we did <clears throat> a body roll. I had everyone, including the men, do just body rolls. So just making sure they remember how to use that pelvis and go around. We had them use half of it by doing um, a step, tap, step, tap. And did we do two of these? OK, I can't remember. Okay, so one, two, three, four, and then around five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and on the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then we had them try it together. Uh, before I had them try it together, we talked about um, hand positioning, which is probably on every video notebook of mine that you've ever seen <laughs> since 1988. Um, we talk about being in neutral, which is just touching. Our hands are touching, but they're not communicating. There's no communication here. She doesn't know what I'm doing. Now when we compress or use leverage of any sort, we're now in gear. I'm leadable, she's followable. Um, not fallible. <laughs> um, <laughs> and so here, we're gonna turn this way, so our open um, side is to the camera and what we did is we had the guys stay still and had the followers do that little eight count pattern the guys closed their eyes and tried to feel nothing so we're testing the girls to see if they are losing their connection or keeping it and that's a good test to do good so the in fact stop that because you're better at it than me no I'm just kidding <laughs> So we can, we each should be able to move our bodies without affecting our partner and our handhold or our closed position, which is what we did next. Um, actually, no, we went through a whole thing where we did double handhold. And then we had the guys, the girls test the guys to see if they were doing this because um, she's the leader right now, I'm the follower. I should be able to move anywhere and do anything with my body and my feet, and it shouldn't affect this. And that's the idea. Um, we moved it into closed position, and we did the same thing, and keeping in mind that we wanna have a, um, in closed position a little bit more of a, the body roll that we put in place, which means using the shoulders, okay? And we did that same pattern, step, tap, Step, tap, step, tap, or rolls. Rolls, yeah, we did that, okay. And then um, I added in two triples and a walk, walk. So after, step, tap, step, tap, we did one more set, step, tap, step, tap. Then you're going to take her with your right hand, do a full 360, triple step, triple step, walk, walk and the idea for that pattern is to learn to have control over the back and in fact I think I rushed over this particular point but for those of you who get the notebook video notebook it's even better when you do that sort of a move to transfer your arm further on the back so that you have more control over this side of the back instead of just this but they're both usable um, so the most important thing, I guess, for this workshop about grooving is that you have to have the connection in order to do that. So every workshop you take, it's going to all come back to connection. 
connection, 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 okay? So always remember to stay connected. Don't lose connection with your partner and let the leader initiate every change in connection, whether it's from neutral to leverage to compression. He's the boss of that. Um, unless there's special patterns where you're going to be aggressive and take over a little bit. But then we'll see you in the invitational Jack and Jill's at that point. Um, thank you, Krista, very much. And I'm Andrea Deaton, andreadeaton.com or 720-364-7353. And thank you, Swing Time in the Rockies and Rocky Mountain Swing Club.